our magic item of the podcast is the Trident of the Tides. Now, I do have to say that this was made in response to a request from a one of our TikTok followers. So if you're not following us there, do it. I make stuff and, and take inspiration and build it for my audience. So uh, this magic item is a trident and is very rare and requires attunement. You can breathe air and water and gain a swim speed equal to your move speed while holding this trident. Well, that sounds very Aquaman-like. <laughs> the trident has 10 charges. While uh, wielding it, you can while wielding it, you can use an action to expend one or more of its charges to cast one of the following spells from it at a DC 15 or a plus five for attack. Control water, four charges. Shape water, one charge. Tsunami, 10 charges. Uh, watery sphere, four charges. Now, tsunami, I'm pretty sure is a ninth level spell. It's uh, pretty it's up pretty there. up there, so that's a big deal. Now. The trident regains 2d4 plus 2 expended charges daily at dawn. If you expend the last charge, roll a d20. On a 1, the trident turns into coral and loses all magical properties. Ah, oh, cool. I like that. Level. What? I said I like that. Yeah. I thought he was that, talking that, shit. That anyone? No, every, every time we've done ones where it's like, oh, if you roll a d20, it lands on a 1, it breaks or it becomes not magical. This, it just turns into something else. That's just completely... That's very thematic, too, though. Yep. People might say, oh, it's not useful no more, but you can still chuck a piece of coral at someone. I mean, how legendary would it be the guy that's you know saves the world with with what? A coral trident. Yeah. Yeah. He's the Aquaman. I love it. You got anything to add? Okay. Straightforward, effective, and uh, splish splash. Splish splash, Alice. Now I want to take a bath. <laughs>